Hi guys, in the last video I did, I started a bushcraft camp setup. And I picked out an area, I set up an overhead tarp, I built a uh, camp chair, and set up a ridge pole for a primitive shelter. Well, after picking out that spot and setting up the ridge pole for the shelter, I saw a real big tree that didn't look very healthy and thought if that fell on me, that wouldn't be a fun day. So I decided to move the whole camp to a different location. So this is the new location. You can see a really big tree that's kind of in the background. But then you can see this kind of smaller tree with this natural arc to it. And I'm going to use that to uh, support the right side of my uh, shelter. But I wanted a raised bed for the shelter, so let's get started on that. I'll need a headboard and a footboard first. The ground is not perfectly level, so I had to raise up one side, we'll call that the head side, with some logs. Then I found two long poles about eight feet long to go across the headboard and the footboard. Now I need some other poles about wrist size to, and let's make them about uh, this long and I'll cut a bunch of these and these will make up the surface of my raised bed. Yeah, we're going to need a whole bunch of these. Keep them coming, buddy. Easily strong enough to hold my weight, be it nice and springy for comfort. And here's what it looks like with all the boards on there. Comfy, huh? Then I pounded in some stakes to hold the stringers in place. And here's the raised bed all complete. Sealy posturepedic, eat your heart out. So I brought the camp chair over from the last video. And now that the bed is done, I can work on the shelter. I'll set up a ridge pole using a square lash to the right side on that leaning tree, and then I'll build a tripod for the left side. I forgot to take video of lashing and building that tripod, but that's all done. It is a little bit long though, so I needed to uh, bury the legs of the tripod in the ground a little bit. So I didn't bring a shovel, so I'm going to build one. Using a nice strong wrist size log, I'll use a hatchet and carve a shape of like a flat blade screwdriver into one end of it. Works pretty good. Here's the tripod holding up the left side of the ridge pole with a square lashing to the tree holding up the right side. I don't have a real good quality tarp yet so I'm just using one of these cheap 9x9 tarps. And I don't really trust these uh, grommets that they come with. So I'm using these Walmart tarp clips, they're like a buck a piece at Walmart, and a paracord and a toggle, and uh, that'll make it easy to put up and take down. Same thing on this side.
I'll use a taut line hitch to secure this end of the tarp. and take care of the extra tail with a clove hitch. Then I need a couple of stakes for the back side of the tarp, so let's grab the hatchet and chop some up. and I'll chamfer the ends with my knife so that they don't split when I'm pounding them in. And my tarp shelter with raised bed is complete. Plenty of room for my sleeping pad and gear behind the bed. I was going to build a primitive shelter instead of a tarp shelter, uh, you know, with lots of sticks and then pine bows or whatever, but we don't have any pine trees around here, so I can't do that. And I don't really like the look of the debris shelters, so uh, I just decided to do a tarp shelter. Plus, it's a lot less trees to cut down. I wanted to raise up the back of the tarp to have more headroom inside, so I'll build a little wall here to raise it up. So I'll need some more stakes. Plenty of room back there now. And my bushcraft camp is a little bit more complete. But I can see that fire ring hasn't been broken yet. Let's see if we can solve that problem right now. Well, I had a great night's sleep. This is the first time I ever went camping without uh, sleeping in a tent, but just under a tarp. That was really fun to watch the campfire all night and see the stars. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.